Hello guys, today I wanted to show you guys how I split my audio in my Discord and OBS. By using this software called Voice Meter, Banana makes it so that you can split the Discord audio or any other voice applications, communications, whatever, from your stream or recording whatever whatever it is that you are doing it's really easy to use it may look really advanced but to make it work it's not really that advanced assuming you have downloaded it and installed it this is what you have to do just open up voice me to banana if it's not here or not here just search for it like this and open it hit enter this is engine start because it's starting all right so we're back guys we can actually close down this website now this one too sorry and actually open obs here's my obs i'm actually recording with the OB obs right now so in this program you can say the hardware input one is most likely your default microphone mine is microphone Rode Podcaster. That's the mic I'm using right now. That is kind of why I had to transition over to uh, or have a little break uh, because I'm not recording audio with OBS. I'm actually using Adobe Audition CC 2018. So I had to set up my sound. I had to disable cable outputs, outputs also cable inputs. Uh, now, what do you want to do? In this program right here I make sure a1 is set to your speaker also a2 to your speaker a3 it doesn't really matter if there's a third option right here or uh, let me show you if there's something down here just click a3 and remove device selection you should only have two speakers options here and hardware input 2 and hardware input 3 you shouldn't even bother touching these unless you have multiple microphones so don't touch these and virtual inputs i don't touch these because uh, i don't have the uh, required knowledge to actually know what they do master section i don't touch it this one don't touch it just leave it be now for hardware input one where your microphone is you don't actually have to use your microphone through this program but I do for my stream so that I get higher quality uh, sound. The sound I, you can hear now is not through voice meter banana. It's actually Adobe Audition CC 2018. With this setup like this, you can actually see my mic going up and down here. See here is the noise gate. If I increase this to 10, if I barely make any noise, I don't speak out loud. This won't pick up my voice, but if I put this at zero, it does. This thing right here, the IntelliPan, this is actually making the sound very crisp. I think yours starts like this. You should try out your own thing. I like to keep it around here. My voice gets a little bit deeper and there is not much noise in my voice. That's basically all you have to do in this program, really. Open up your sound. To get this open, right click on the speaker thing right here. If it's not there, it's in here. And click sounds. This will probably pop up. Just hit playback or recording. If you can't find sounds, Open sound settings and in here, scroll down to sound control panel. Just scroll down or whatever, find your stuff. This is my monitors and stuff, so it's usually at the bottom. Playback is your speakers and recording is your microphones connected to the system. You will probably only have desktop audio and mix slash a UX here or auxiliary. I have Elgato HD60 Pro here because I have my Elgato set up in the sources. Don't mind El Elgato, here's the mic. I use filters on my microphone on OBS. When you are using voice meter, you don't need any filters. You can make your own filters through this. However, it's always nice to use a noise suppression and noise gate or whatever through this program. Just make your sound crisp through voice meter banana. Find out what's best for you to make it so that voice meter banana splits up the audio and such. Go to settings. Go ahead and go into audio. And this is what I use. It should probably say default for you. 
on all of these, but I like to be sure of what I'm using. For this particular thing, well, you should pick both voice meters, but this is voice meter AUX input. And for desktop audio device two, you should pick voice meter input. That's non AUX, like this. For your microphone, you sure can use your default, uh, where mine is Red Pod Rode Podcaster. So I recommend just having one microphone and to check if it's working. Testing. Testing. Back to the splitting part, which you have all been waiting for. Open up Discord. This is my Discord channel or Flame Water Gaming's Discord channel. You should join it. The Swag Cave Flame Water Gaming. Link is in the description for that. Head into user settings, voice and video. And this is my setup right now. I use my default microphone for Discord. You could use voice meter, but I like to just keep it natural on their output device. This is where you pick where the sound goes. There is a option for VB audio, voice meter, VAO or aux VAO. This is, you will hear this strange sound too when you pick it. So that one corresponds to this one right here. Oops, that's the wrong information. So this one corresponds to this one right here on the playback. So I put this as my just a default device and this one as a default communication device. You need to make sure output device on Discord is set to voice meter input and not AUX input. And of course, make sure these are right. So make sure this is right, all right? You should also test if to see if they're working, actually. I can hear it fine. I can hear that one fine too. But as you can see on the stream, the desktop audio, you can hear this one, but you cannot hear this one. So this one is the one you want to exclude from your stream slash recording, whatever you're doing at the time. And that is all you actually need to know. Whatever program that you want to exclude, just go into the program, like Discord. Go into output device and set it to voice meter input. It should not have a UX input, all right? No AUX input, just an input. That's how you split your audio. Oh no. Did it really just shut down on me?